So how can you get stronger? So before I get into this video and I teach you the science of strength training and how you can get stronger, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell so anytime I post new content, you're the first to know about it. And if you're interested in my coaching services, visit t3body.com where I can help you get stronger and leaner at the same time. Okay, but getting stronger, let's get to this subject, science strength training. Getting stronger comes down to two things, all right? Either you're going to get really, really good at a pattern, better at a pattern, so more neurologically efficient, which I'll talk about in a second, or you can get bigger muscles. But the best is always a combination of both of those, okay? So neurological adaptation, that is the main component of strength training, okay? So strength training in a sense is your body's nervous system connecting with your muscles and helping your muscles to fire and contract at an optimal manner, okay? Point blank, that is what strength training is. And the bigger the muscle you have, the greater potential you have for force because there's gonna be more muscle fibers with inside those muscles. But it doesn't always mean that you're gonna be stronger. Think about it, you've seen some of the body, you know, the bodybuilders, they're huge, but they're weak. You see some of these little guys who are 130, 140 pounds, and they cannot lift the bodybuilders because they're lifting six, 700 pounds. So, does that, so the bigger muscle does not necessarily mean will be a stronger muscle, it just gives you a greater potential for force. But let's go back, I digress a little bit, and let's go to neurological efficiency. So how can we train this to become better at it? We need to do and increase pattern efficiency. So pattern efficiency is basically how well you can do a pattern. Is that pattern optimal? Same thing like if you were gonna, you know, want to be a great basketball player, you're not gonna go shoot a jump shot, you know, once a month or anything like that. You're probably gonna shoot a thousand shots a day if you wanna be the best or 2000 shots a day. Same thing with a bench press. Now, of course your body's gonna, you know, it takes a little bit longer to recover. So you're probably gonna bench twice or three times a week or four times a week if you wanna get a stronger bench press. Um, there's other components that goes into it, but uh, follow me here for a second. You need to really train that pattern in order for that pattern to become better. That's point blank, that's the most simple thing. So things that you need to pay attention to while you're training that pattern. So while you wanna get stronger in that bench press, you need to focus on velocity. Velocity means speed, or which the speed at which the bar is moving. That's why if you wanna get stronger, it's typically not that great to train really, really heavy because you're not gonna train with proper velocity to signal your body to get stronger, to enforce those neurological patterns in your body, to tell your central nervous system to get stronger. To train too light, it's gonna do the exact opposite. You're probably actually gonna get weaker if you continue to train at 30 and 40%. That's why most programs at the intensity level, how heavy the bar is, is always telling you to train at around 70 to 85% because you'll hit that velocity, you'll be able to uh, also have enough load, enough stimulus to tell your body to get stronger and, and a little bit to get bigger depending on how much volume you're doing. Pattern efficiency comes down to technique. I said it in other videos and I'll say it here again. Make sure you are really, really detailed about executing the hell out of movements. Execute the movement, okay? Like I was talking about with the jump shot or like if you're talking to kicking kick a ball or you know swinging a tennis racket, bench pressing, squatting, deadlifting really maximize how you're doing that movement think about it be so detailed about that because that is a huge component of maximizing that neurological efficiency okay if you don't want to do it through this way another way you can do it again is a bigger muscle a bigger muscle has greater potential for a stronger muscle but it does not necessarily mean that um, some things you also need to consider when you want to get stronger consider your recovery um, and th what that's really gonna come down to is how much stress you're giving your body, all right? So like I was talking about before, yeah, you can bench four days a week, but that might be too much stress where you won't recover enough. So you gotta kind of find that right balance where you're signaling your body like, okay, this is enough stress for me to change, but it's not too much where I can't recover, okay? And your nervous system, where this all starts, typically takes about 48 hours, 48, 48 to recover, fully recover. Now, for some big lifters, I coach big elite level power lifters who are like 275 pounds. Sometimes they'll take a week to recover. You know, they're lifting big loads. They have huge muscle muscle bellies, muscle fibers. Um, so those greater greater uh, uh, damage is done because they have to lift the loads longer. They're, they're lifting bigger loads. So they'll take longer to recover versus like a 130 pound female lifter. They can do a max bench and then come in the next day and typically do like a max bench. So you have to listen to your body. You have to have some type of feedback loop where you're listening it. Like, okay, is that enough? No, is that enough? Yes. And then you kind of like go back and forth like that. But the number one thing that I want you to understand is that it is a neurological adaptation first. So meaning it's happening in your mind. You're maximizing, maximizing your pattern efficiency. Same thing like a jump shot. Same thing like kicking a ball. Same thing like swinging, swinging a tennis racket. And be sure to practice and hone in on that technique to master that movement. That is the best way to get stronger so you don't always have to get endlessly bigger because there's only a certain amount of size we can put on our muscles, okay? Hope you guys found this video useful. Again, if you want me to help you get strong and lean at the same time, visit t3body.com. 
but first like this video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so anytime i post new content like this you'll be the first to know about it